I'm gonna hang these curtains and I figured I would show you um, how I do it. I had a couple of requests asking um, to show the process. So these are, I believe, 63 inches. I want them 39 inches finished. I keep the top pocket, so I, I, I keep this and then I cut the bottom off. And if you notice, this is a two inch hem. So if I want 39 inch curtains finished, I will have to add the two inches, which will be 39, 40, 41, and then a half of an inch turned up. So that would be, or turned down. So that would be 41 and a half. I usually do mine on the floor because um, <laughs> I don't have a spot big enough. So what I will do is measure 41 and a half from the top with my tape measure and then just cut straight across there. And I'm using my scissors from when I was in home ec. I know you guys don't care, but I think that <laughs> I think they're cute. I had them sharpened last year, so they're perfect for fabric. Sewing machine, the sewing machine, a helping hand. If I didn't have my sewing machine, I'd a drink to beat the band. But a bob and a bob and a pedal, a pedal as busy as a bug. So by night I feel so weary, I can hardly live. Deb's making the boys uh, mashed potatoes. They love her mashed potatoes and um, we had potatoes going to waste. But, so I wanted two inches turned up and then a half an inch in. A lot of times it's easier if you um, iron it, but I don't iron, I don't iron this. Usually I can just eye it and I'll, let me show you, I'll set away last night with a wooden frame and got a giant splinter in my thumb it is killing me I swear I told Deb it went straight down to the bone I'll show you the end result here in a little bit but this is an excellent lunch idea it is lettuce turkey bacon tomato avocado and hummus so delicious I've soaked it in Epsom salts last night, um, probably four times, and I've soaked it three times today, and it I cannot get down far enough. I don't know what in the heck. I'm just going to have to keep messing with it. Which reminds me of a story that I don't think I've ever told you guys. We both, Dem and I both worked at our um, doctor's office that we worked at for years, and she called me one day, and she said, she had Fridays off. So a lot of times um, she would get like the yard work and all that stuff done so we could do other projects that we wanted. And she was, she also mowed the neighbor's yard. And she called me one day at work and she said, when are you going to be home? And I said, my normal six o'clock. This is my story time <laughs> She said, well, I have a splinter in my ass and I need you to help me get it out. And I was like, well, I'll be home at six. Me again, like an hour later and said, I'm serious. I like, like you have to hurry. And I said, is it that bad? Like, do I have to come home? She said, no, just like hurry. So I asked her what she did and she said, I was mowing the neighbor's yard and I like, you know how when you're pushing a mower underneath the porch swing or a swing and you kind of like take your hip and move the swing. She got a splinter from the wooden swing in her butt cheek and she was telling me this and I said, okay, well, I'll be home and like, you know, she was like, just hurry. How lots of insurance companies are. I think back then we had like a million dollar deductible. <laughs> so we never got anything paid. So we always tried home remedies and like we always tried to do everything ourselves. Hurried home and she is laying on the couch on her stomach. 
And I'm like, is it that bad? Like, do you need to go, do we need to go to the ER? She said, I'm not going to the ER and paying a million dollars. This splinter was not a splinter. It was a dagger of wood. I'm gonna have to find something to show you how big it was. And it went straight in her butt cheek. Straight in like where your hip and your butt are kind of. So high up in like your muscle area and it went straight in. And I was like, I, I can't get this out. I had a tweezers, a needle, a razor blade <laughs> and a nail clippers. Those were the things. I kept saying, we have got to go to the ER. I cannot get this out. And I could not see how big it was because the hole had grown shut. So I could only see just like a little bit of it because it was straight in. So I couldn't see like the whole thing. Every time I dug in with the razor <laughs> We were so stupid. <laughs> she would yell and say, that really hurts. And I'd say, then I, I don't know what to do. She said, if I round it up some numbing stuff, will you numb it up and... <sighs> I performed surgery on the couch. <laughs> she got a shot. I'm not gonna tell you where she got it. <laughs> and a scalpel and it was it was that long on to something else um i am here trying to get some stuff put away i've been in between stories because it takes forever to post sometimes i've been cleaning off this table if you go back you can see i was making progress i don't know why i started telling you that yes i do because of my splinter and my thumb that's on my right hand in my thumb right where your thumb touches everything. So it's driving me insane. I stayed here to get a bunch of stuff put away and I can't wait to show you. I'm gonna show you the entryway here really soon, a little bit later. Um, Deb ran to the storage unit. She had some stuff to do in town. So she ran to the storage unit and it's gonna bring home my Halloween stuff. Anyways, Deb is going to post from the storage unit next. Um, I can't wait to see what she's doing. I have a feeling she's shit around. Happy Sunday. Today is a day of rest, so I thought to myself, what would you like to do on the day of rest? I think that I would love to wake up and reorganize the storage unit. So Danelle wants the Halloween decorations, which are clear in the back and some totes. So we're going to try to reorganize. It seems a little hot in here. I thought it'd be a little Cooler, so I'm not sure how long I'm gonna last in here but we're gonna give it a whirl I'm gonna work on it for just a little bit and I will give you an update when I am finished so the first thing you got to do whenever you're doing the storage unit is to bring out a chair and a table so you have a nice little break area because you're gonna need plenty of them then number two is to make categories useless shit Billion rugs we'll never use, old tables, just stuff. So I categorize everything, pull it out, and then I try to put it all back in, in the right category. So, anybody need a rug? Break number one, because I'm out of shape and these things are heavy. I did find the Halloween things. I've got most of the Christmas pulled out, but I was sitting here reflecting on my break about why is all that stuff in the back? Break number one. Because I'm out of shape and these things are heavy. I did find the Halloween things. I've got most of the Christmas pulled out, but I was sitting here reflecting on my break about why is all that stuff in the back? Well, I think when we moved originally, we thought we'd only be in the rental for six, eight months, maybe nine. So we put everything that we thought we would not need like the Christmas and Halloween. Two seconds. Maybe I should have a sale before she gets here. Being clear, clear, clear in the back. Well, we were the fools. We were there for 18 months. And personally, I could sell all this stuff in about. I'm kind of enjoying myself sitting here because 
the internet's fast here. It's like so fast. I love it. Maybe I'll just start hanging out here all the time. Speaking of home ec, I just found my little bat that I made in, what the hell was that called? Industrial arts. <laughs> in eighth grade, I think. Okay, I'm finished for today. I think we have some stuff to put in here, but at least you can now walk in. So we have a column department, junk department, rug department, Christmas, which I'm not looking forward to getting out, and then just furniture stacked here and there. So we can walk in here. Now she has a couple of more things like chairs she wants to put in here yet. They'll go back in the chair department. Hopefully she's not digging in here anytime soon. <laughs> Deb brought home something from the storage unit that have they have been packed up for oh my gosh four or five years. I don't think I showed them maybe when I first started my account hate them and I would wake up in the morning when they would stay up later and they would be turned around the other way so let me show you I just have them sitting here to gross you out even more if you hate dolls <laughs> look at how beautiful they are these are Annette Hempstead I'll show you the box I got these in the 80s like maybe actually probably late 80s early 90s and they all are like modeled after real little girls but look at the detail on them and i removed the clothes that came with them and i put these old clothes on them right here it says 90 90 4 95. this is what the original dress looks like for her and I don't think this one has a year, but this was the original look for her. Deb, she wants to help. <laughs> I'm going to be sharing uh, little fall looks all week this week, I hope. I hope to start with the entryway tonight, but I have been burning this pumpkin truffle all day and it smells heavenly. It's by Katie Cloud. And I I'll put the link here. I have uh, a code DD10. will get you 10% off. All of her fall collection is excellent. Let me show you a few more um, of the scents. She wants to tell you that she likes the. Free. Free. You can say it. She likes the old soul. Anyways, I'm just joking. Sort of. <laughs> um, campfire stories, apple whiskey, fallen leaves are all some of her um, fall collection. And I, I was trying to figure out the other one. I know I burn a bunch. There's two pumpkin ones, I believe. They are excellent. I love her candles. This whole cottage smells like pumpkin-y fall. So good. DD10 will get you money off. So while I'm talking about candles, um, I've never shared this with you. The We got this lighter several months ago, and every time I use it, I want to share, and I always forget. It's like a little torch. It is the coolest thing. Um, you it's refillable so it's not rechargeable like some are but I this is my absolute favorite lighter for candles I will link it here um, you do need to buy the butane it does not come filled this is what Deb's been working on these um, screens came with our French doors and we've just never wanted them on and tonight she was like let's just put this one on and I think we're gonna love it we can keep the doors open and it'll feel like we're outside